Randy Rosetta with NOLA.com and the Times Picune with an LSU baseball vlog after the number one Tigers find a way to get past the number two slash three, depending on which poll you follow, ranked Aggies, four to three with a run in the bottom of the ninth inning of a very hyped up series between two of the best teams in the country, two of the best teams in the SEC that came in leading the SEC with 12 and 5 records, and it played out like a game between two teams that have played well, that have a lot to play for, and that came out here this weekend wanting to play really well. This was not a, a flawless game by any means, but there was definitely a lot of intensity. Uh, the uh, execution at times was good. LSU got this one because Danny Zardone kind of typified a Jekyll and Hyde night for the Tigers. Uh, Jekyll and Hyde for him because he's had a very weird up and down season. Began the season as the starting third baseman, had some trouble defensively, moved across the diamond, was the starting first baseman, stopped hitting, so he fell out of lineup and fell out of favor a little bit, to be honest, and kind of been buried on the bench the last five weeks. Came in as a, a pinch hitter in this game. When a &M made a pitching change to a left-handed pitcher, Paul Maneri went with a right-handed hitter. Zardone was actually big in LSU getting a 3-2 to lady. He drew a walk, which kind of kept the inning going, but he was never bigger than he was in the ninth inning. Uh, he, with Jared Foster on second base after he got a single and advanced on a wild pitch, Zardone stayed patient uh, against A&M reliever Matt Vinson, found a slider he could pull and took it right down the third base line. Jared Foster had to kind of hold up a little bit, but once he saw it get past, his speed made it a moot point. He, he scored pretty easily. The other Jekyll and Hyde part of that is Jared Foster, who is still learning how to play second base at the college level. Had a couple of misplays, one that led to a run. Also had a couple of spectacular plays. And when it came time in the ninth inning to make something happen offensively, he came up and got a hit right after Jake Fraley smoked the ball into the outfield for a single and got thrown out trying to stretch it into a double. So A&M had reason to kind of feel pumped up a little bit. Jared Foster grabbed that momentum right back with his hit. Uh, the rest of the Jekyll and Hyde performance goes to the LSU bullpen. Kind of a, a weird up and down outing for a couple of guys, but Parker Bug and Colin Straw both struck out a batter with the bases loaded in the eighth and ninth inning respectively to keep it first, to keep LSU up front, and then to keep the game tied. Jared Poche didn't need any Je Jekyll and Hyde. He was just downright good for seven innings. Scattered six hits, gave up two runs early, but then over the last five innings was almost untouchable. So LSU gets a key win. They take the lead in the SEC. They're now 13-5 and five in the SEC for a night anyway. They've got first place all of themselves. Tigers and Aggies are both 36-6 and six heading into the rest of this weekend, so... Catch your breath, buckle up, and get ready. They'll be back out here 7 p.m. Friday night at Alex Box Stadium. This is Randy Rosetta with NOLA.com and the Times-Picune.